So for a while now, I've been pretty intrigued by lifting body aircraft, which are these stubby gliders that generate lift by using their bodies. NASA used these experimental aircraft to have an efficient way for getting astronauts back to Earth from space. And with this came a lot of different aircraft that all looked like bathtub break looking things, and yet they still flew pretty well. Another concept I've been wanting to play around with is dropping a shuttle glider with a high wing loading fly and land really fast. RC Tesla has made a couple of videos on this concept where they either have really small wings or are extremely heavy. And it's just so satisfying watching these aircraft fall from the sky and actually start to fly. And for RC lifting body experiments, they're either not actually lifting bodies or they're just really old videos. Um, the only one I've actually seen like done sort of properly uh, is by RC Testlight, where he actually you know makes it controllable and drops it from really high altitude. I've seen I've seen a couple of videos do the same thing, but there's like very few videos on this, so definitely not a very popular concept. For my first attempt at the shuttle glider concept, I created this design, which had a very bulky body made of foam plates. So you can see it's very small, and that's because I'm currently working on rebuilding my cargo plane so I can actually drop these gliders from the sky. But for part one, the only way to test out the concept is by doing it on a really small scale. So on the first few drop tests, it was pretty clear on how hard this was going to be. Uh, it was just really unpredictable on how this would act. It would either just go straight down or just turn to the right or left, kind of just randomly. This also just came from me not releasing it uh, perfectly. And it became kind of annoying because every time it messed up, I had to keep going down the stairs and back up to test it out. So definitely not ideal uh you can see here how many tests i went through and all these it just kind of just slammed into the ground or just hit a wall but after some more fine tuning and some luck i was able to get a semi-decent flight where it remained sort of straight and almost leveled out it still seemed to be a little too nose heavy so i moved the cg slightly back and removed the up elevator so hopefully when it levels out it has a positive angle of attack And that's just about how good this thing can perform. Uh, I did many other tests after this, and I really couldn't get anything close to this. And I think this is just the closest thing I'm going to get to what I wanted. Uh, fortunately, I couldn't get like a butter landing, but this is, <laughs> I feel like this is just as impressive. It's just really satisfying to see this thing just kind of glide along uh, right after leveling out. And it just holds that angle of attack, which is, is really nice to see. Uh, but you know, I just didn't want to continue this because I was just getting tired of going up the stairs all the time. So I decided just to move on to the lifting body experiment. So this is my first attempt of the lifting body. It's just uh, some insulation foam and some foam fins in the back and a little screw for head weight. Uh, There's not really a good way to tell the exact CG of this, but I kind of just had to play around with it. And it's something I kind of forgot to do with this one is that there was no angle of attack. So it's kind of just flat, uh, but I just went to test it out anyways. Oh man, it's it's so close. Once I got the CG right and I was doing some more throw tests, while analyzing the video, it doesn't seem there's any angle of attack present when flying it, like no positive angle of attack, which is kind of hinting to me that this is just acting like a normal conventional wing where you have airflow going over the top and bottom of the body or fuselage or whatever to achieve lift. And the fact that this plane is super light kind of helps it with that but also in real life these lifting bodies need a super high angle of attack to actually achieve lift uh if they're kind of just flat then they're not gonna fly that well at all unless they're like going super fast but i don't think this is a full like a true lifting body so i kind of want to fix that for my second design i decided i wanted to try to replicate the m2 f1 it has a really steep bottom side so for this one i decided to layer two blocks of insulation foam and then instead i'm going to have the circle faces on each side different so when i hot wired it, it has a little bit of an angle but unfortunately while hot wiring it i guess i did it sideways so it turned out to be really really wonky so uh, i didn't want to redo it so i tried my best to re-glue on the um, piece i hot wired off and then <laughs> re-hot wired it it didn't it did turn out good this time but it was super super rough so i had to find a way to kind of smooth it out so to smooth it out i'm just gonna be using some two ounce fiberglass and some epoxy the video cut out here but as you can see once it fully cured it turned out way smoother you can also see all the air pockets where it wasn't smooth so it definitely made it a lot more aerodynamic and also increased the weight quite quite a bit but not too much so after waiting another day to let it kind of set i did a good sand on it just to get rid of any of the bumps or strands. Added some foam fins in the back and we were ready to test it out. Oh my god, why does it fly so well? 
So I took some cool slow-mo shots here with some cool angles. And you can very clearly see that this one is now much more reliant on its actual body to like deflect air downwards and with its angle of attack, as you can see here. Uh, another interesting thing is that even though these aircraft are meant to be inherently unstable, which is why the real ones needed a lot of like computers to keep stable, it does seem to have a little bit passive roll stability, not much. Uh, definitely like not comparable to a real plane, but it does sometimes go back to its preset. So I think if I had more centralized weight at the ballast of the body, it could have more stability. So as I continued to do more tests, it was pretty clear that this thing was flying way worse now. Um, it would just always dip off to one side. I wasn't entirely sure. Uh, I was able to get one more good flight, but I'm pretty sure that this would fly much better when dropped at a high altitude. So I think that's what I'm going to save this one for. So for my third and final design, I decided to replicate the M2F2, which had a much steeper rear section than the first design, uh, which, I mean, makes sense. Kind of like those boxy cars. Uh, definitely, they ca cause a lot of drag and efficiency compared to those, like, teardrop cars. So this one, I'm going to make sure it has a higher angle of attack in its main body and also include a separate section where it can sort of like have an angle so it isn't causing as much drag so hopefully this helps with its pitch stability and also makes it fly a little farther and after gluing all the parts together i went on top with some two ounce fiberglass again uh, i decided to add a little bit more because i wanted to see how this would behave uh being a little heavier uh, the whole thing just had just one layer of fiberglass and then on the areas where I thought it would have a bigger impact I added a second layer so so like for the nose and the lower section like the ballast so I just wetted that on uh, let it dry and I was looking pretty good trimmed off the edges and then I added my fins if I were to redo this project again I would probably just use some 3d printed like fins those are much more durable than these foam plates Ooh, almost got destroyed there. So I think the fact that it's pitching up quite a bit um, at the end there and this is kind of wiggling uh, once it's at the angle of attack might signal that it's a little too tail heavy uh, and it's about to approach a stall. So I might add a little more weight in the front and test it out uh, like that. But another important thing to note is that uh, I don't think this was true with all lifting bodies, but especially with the M2 F1 or F1, uh, F2 or whatever, um, it was able to fly super slow. It could be like towed from a car and just plant and just take off uh, like a normal glider. So I think that shows that the lifting body is able to produce enough lift at that slow speed. So it's not that, that they were necessarily had like a high wing loading or <laughs> body loading or whatever. Uh, some of them definitely were as they had to fly much faster. But I think having like a lighter weight lifting body definitely helps. But for now, I think it'd be pretty interesting to try with heavier lifting bodies when I drop them from the sky. And this one's about like 50 to 40 grams, so quite a bit heavier than the original, like the previous one. But it also has a bigger, like it's much bigger too. So not really sure, but I'm gonna do some more testing. Overall, it was definitely flying way more consistently than the other one too. I got some pretty good flights in. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, definitely throwing it harder helps a lot. And it's just pretty satisfying to watch these. I did do one flight where I kind of added some uh, negative pitch to the fins or positive pitch to the backwards fins to make it nose down. And um, it definitely held its speed much more, but uh, these fins were definitely not that easy to stay. So they kept just like changing every time I threw it. So yeah, I think I'm going to end the testing here. Um, you can see it's starting to crack a little bit. If I didn't have this fiberglass, this thing would be destroyed right now. Um, but it's pretty apparent that the fins need to be upgraded to something a little more durable because uh, I think it's definitely affecting its flight right now in terms of just like where it's going. So I either need to fiberglass them or replace them with something better, but I'm not really sure for right now. But I think I'm going to keep this as is and then wait till I can drop this from the sky and actually see how it flies.